Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the element of our line. Line is spelled L-I-N-E. A line is a mark you make on your paper that has a beginning and an end. We put lines together to make shapes. There are many, many different ways to make a line, and today we're going to explore some of the different ways to create line. A line is a mark that you make on a paper that has a beginning and an end. This is a line. I can see the beginning and the end. This is not a line because I can't find the beginning or the end. Lines can be made in many different ways. We can make straight horizontal lines. That means from side to side. We can also make straight vertical lines. Those go up and down. Lines do not have to be straight. They can go off in different directions. Maybe you want to make a zigzag line or a line that looks like mountains. You can make a zigzag line where all of the points are about the same size or they can change. Lines don't have to have straight edges. They can be wiggly too. Let's try a curly Q line. We can make lines that are wavy. Or even dotted lines. There are many more different types of lines than what I've drawn on my paper. But let's go ahead and explore some more lines now. I'm going to draw some big shapes on my paper. We know that shapes are made by putting lines together. What shape is this? It's a triangle. How about this one? That's a circle. What shape is this? It's a square. Once I have my shapes drawn, I'm going to fill each shape up with a different type of line. I'm going to fill my triangle with curly lines. I will fill my circle with thick lines. For my square, I'm going to make zigzag lines. I filled each of my shapes with different type of line, but I've got all this space outside of my shapes. That's called the background. Let's see if I can create some different lines to fill up my background.
Now it's your turn to create a picture on your paper with as many different lines as you can think of. I can't wait to see what your lines look like. See you soon.